What I wanted to talk to you guys about today is the uh, bottle palm or Hyophorb langale collis. Um, it's found uh, to the round islands of uh, Mauritius, and um, it's unique for a palm uh, because it has a very bulbous trunk, which uh, gives it the name bottle palm it resembles a bottle um, with the shape of the trunk. The uh, bottle palm grows to about uh, 10 to 20 feet, although it's more common to see them um, no more than 10 feet in cultivation. Uh, they are sun-loving, drought-tolerant. They're tolerant of uh, salty air, so they're good for plantings near the ocean. Um, if you look at the uh, the crown shaft of the bottle palm, it's uh, bright green and it has some reddish hues to it uh, at the bases of the uh, petioles and also a little bit on the trunk. You can also see the rings on the trunk for, for the growth pattern. Uh, year to year of the spent fronds. Uh, the uh, crown shaft of this palm has these leaf bases that naturally will peel away as the petioles age and it will expose uh, new layers to the crown shaft. And you also notice the fronds on the bottle palm um, have quite a bit of an arch to them. And uh, usually only get four to six fronds uh, at a time emerge uh, from uh, these palms. It's a very uh, beautiful palm. Uh, it really makes a statement. And uh, very similar to uh, another species called the spindle palm. Uh, it differs though somewhat because the uh, widest part of the trunk on a bottle palm is near the bottom, whereas on a spindle palm it's somewhere mid, uh, mid on the trunk. And also a spindle palm is more slender in appearance, the trunk. Anyways, these uh, bottle palms are uh, quite slow growing. And this specimen you see here is um, it's probably uh, at least 15 years old or so. Just wanted to show you guys uh, some more uh, pictures and videos of bottle palms that I've taken around the island of Oahu in Hawaii. And uh, they're quite stunning in the landscape and they stand out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the pictures and video.